Welcome to the Nashville Zoo. Today I'm going to show you how to take really great cat pictures. To do that we're going to have a look at the rare species clouded leopards, one of the prides and joys of the Nashville Zoo. Today is a very special day. We're going to have a look at 14 day old clouded leopard cubs. We're going to go behind the scenes and take some pictures of them. Now we're going to have a look at clouded leopards, my favorite cat at the Nashville Zoo. Uh, these cats are actually coming from Southeast Asia and the National Zoo is very much involved in conservation with these cats together with the zoo in Thailand and the National Zoo in Washington. The two cats we're looking at right now are called Ming and Mei, they're brother and sister, and they have a beautiful exhibit. And what we can train here is mainly how to go through glass and take proper pictures through glass. So we're going to try that now. This is glass right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the camera, again put it on the long setting, go through an area where you've got no reflection, don't set your lens to the glass, always stay a little bit away and shoot right perpendicular through the glass. When you're shooting any kind of animal, it's very important that you actually shoot from eye level. Obviously with a large animal that's easy, you can stand up, but when you're shooting cats or anything like that, you need to get low to the ground. Sometimes it means crouching, sitting on your backside or even laying on your belly. And as with all animals, it makes a lot of sense to shoot a lot of frames you want to shoot lots and lots of pictures because in these pictures you may have your winning shot uh, because animals like humans have facial expressions they have they can change so you want to make sure you capture that one shot but you can't do that without taking many and what you see with cats they're really active early in the morning and it makes actually a lot of sense to go first to the cats or last to the cats so the last last thing in the day in the zoo or the first thing in the morning the animals that are prey, you want to have a look at during the day because they move all day. Now we're in for a real treat. We're going to go behind the scenes and see the mammal curator with the clouded leopard cubs. Karen Rice, mammal curator, Nashville Zoo. Now we're going to take pictures of the clouded leopard cubs. They just have been born end of March and uh, We'll try to get very close, not too close though, not to disturb them too much. We'll take the picture of all three of them together, so let's try. And we're going to actually go quite close, so we're using a shorter lens here, not the long one. We're using full aperture to get actually very short times because they never stand still. Thank you. Card full. That was great. And if you like animal photography, come down to the zoo and take some of the cat pictures yourself.